What began as a relatively peaceful morning of fishing, we got bass and catfish and everything, turned out to be anything but for Ronnie Rawlings. Yeah, we had a front row seat to it. Just across his farm pond, on the road right in front of his Lexington home, was a fiery single car collision. It snapped that telephone pole completely off. It is a miracle the Department of Corrections Construction and Maintenance Advisor was home that morning. There was no one else around for miles. We immediately jumped into the golf cart, drove down there, and uh, that's when the mother was crawling out of the vehicle. My wife was standing in the road attending to her, and she kept asking her, is anybody else inside? And she said, my babies, it, it wasn't going to be long before that car was totally engulfed in fire. Even with live power lines sparking nearby, Ronnie Rawlings ignored his own safety and climbed into that smoldering vehicle to rescue those babies. It was not easy. The youngest one was upside down in a car seat. I wasn't leaving those kids in that car because I knew what was about to happen. By the time I got that child out and, and walked across the street, the car was pretty much engulfed in flames. We were just so relieved that they were out of that vehicle. Mom and kids escaped with only minor scrapes and bruises. Well, I heard this story and it really warmed my heart because, you know, heroes are everywhere every day. And, and this good citizen in, in Cleveland County, uh, just minding his own, his own business one day, became a hero. Don't call this DOC employee a hero, just a good Samaritan doing what he was taught. We live by the good book. Love thy neighbor as myself. And that's what we do. You help out whoever you can. I mean, we're, we're here to take care of each other. We were put in the right place at the right time. We just thank God that we were home that day.